All right, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Insurgency. It is a source. It started as a source mod. It is a, a standalone game now. Uh, it, I'm just in an empty PvP server to show you a little about how the class balance works. Um, in co-op, the uh, security forces are the only playable faction in PvP. You can play either as the security or as the insurgents. Um, the classes for each faction have different names, but they have the same purpose. Um, and they have access to essentially equivalent uh, weaponry and explosives. So since this is a hardcore shooter, all the weapons do extreme amounts of damage. Um, so there's a weight slider, and so you can't have too much weight on your soldier. And the further up you are, the slower you run, and the, the faster you get fatigued. And then there's a supply total, so you can't have every attachment. You know, there, everything has a trade-off. For example, here, I don't actually want to put... Uh, I don't actually want grenades for this, uh, or armor-piercing ammo for that matter. If I go, I just want something that's going to help me uh, with my recoil and uh, give me a little bit of an edge since I'm just gonna play by myself for a minute just to give you a, a feel for how the game works. So it looks like somebody mostly finished this one. I assume it's gonna restart because I joined and there's nobody else here. There's a heavy insurgent uh, presence in this area. We've been ordered to clear it. Move through, secure the objectives, and destroy any weapon caches you find. Watch for counterattacks. So, this game is somewhere, it's probably a cross between Arma, Counter-Strike, and Battlefield. The game modes are very Battlefield-like, but the shooting mechanics are very similar to Counter-Strike and Arma. Now, I don't actually expect to be able to beat this by myself. Uh, mostly just because if they get one good shot on me, I'm dead. But uh, the damage model the is very left, high. Oh, there's somebody else. Uh, walls are just an illusion of safety in this game. Bullets do go through them. Uh, most of the time it does not take as many bullets to kill. And it, I mean, it doesn't actually. I'm just spamming it to try and make sure that if I miss, I don't ruin it for this other guy. So apparently I picked a server that likes to spam messages, which I don't really like, but I'll deal. Now, see, friendly fire is on in this game, so that guy walking in front of me was actually really stupid. Like, I definitely could have killed him if I wasn't paying attention. And he definitely could have shot me there, too. I'm reloading! Uh, when you reload half-empty mags in this game, it, I'm sure you've noticed the HUD's pretty minimal. Uh, when you reload half-empty mags, it doesn't actually remove them from your inventory. It just leaves the half-empty mag in there. Like, see right there, there was a guy I could kind of, like, I saw him close to the wall a little bit. So I was, uh, able to shoot. Just in case. 
case. Uh, pistols are extremely deadly in this. They are just as effective as primary weapons, except at really long range when they're harder to aim. Uh, but they are definitely deadly. I actually like the, the very minimalistic HUD, uh, the hardcore gameplay. Uh, if you rush a lot in this game, you will die a lot. Uh, if you team kill, people will boot you, they get tired of shit real fast. Coming up. Yes. So, the, and, and the VoIP in this game is pretty interesting. It, uh, uh, loading, once loading. you die, your teammates can't hear you anymore. Now, the people who are dead can hear the people who are talking, but the people who are alive can only hear the people who are alive. Um, when you die, I'm sure you've noticed when that guy dies, he doesn't respawn for a little bit. Uh, the respawn system... We're taking Charlie works. now! In, uh, not every game mode, but almost all of them. You have to take an objective before it will allow you to respawn. Which, in co-op, is... There, there's a couple different co-op modes. Uh, this is the most common one. Uh, actually, a lot of the game modes are very similar to Battlefield. Like, there's... Rush, Conquest, Team Death. We got match. Charlie, good work. Defend the objective, there's an incoming counterattack. Uh, counterattacks, they just, uh, basically it turns into defense for a minute and they tell you to not let the enemy recap the objective from you. Thing, a really nice thing about this game is the DLC packs. There have been two major DLC patches now. They are free. So $15 game, indie game, free DLC. Uh, instead of like Battlefield, where $60 AAA title and they want $60 more for ship that probably should have just been in the game to begin with. Actually, pretty surprised at how well we're doing since it's just the two of us. Smoke you got him. Uh, the next part, there's a lot of enemies though, and they are really RPG happy, so it'll probably be the end of this, but. Delta secured, good work. Yeah, 
Yeah, so when you resupply, it just refills all your magazines, so you don't have to worry about half empty mags. Which is nice. I'm sure you've noticed the suppression's pretty, pretty strong in this. Pretty sure that there's more enemies here because it seemed just like way too few for this to actually be where we are. Uh, it always seems like there's way more than that, but I guess maybe not. So regular grenades takes two of them to do what I'm about to do. It only takes one Molotov or one RPG. The problem is you tend to kill yourself with the RPG. there, but I've been burned by not looking before, so. Okay, loading! Oh, that gun on automatic? Okay. Gun's got like a 15 round clip. So, uh, using it on automatic is a ballsy move because you run out of ammo real quick. Uh, so I don't, have, I don't think I've hip fired yet on this, but flashbang. Want to point out not it's that uh, you know, see the gun kind of like moves in a circle on the screen. The hip fire actually follows the angle of the gun on the screen. And the last one left. There's nobody behind me, because it'll be really irritating if we get this far. And then I get shot in the back. This has gone way better than I could have, would have ever thought that it would. With just two people. We've 
Just take it, Foxtrot. There's a heavy insurgent presence in this area. We've been ordered to clear it. Move through, secure the objectives, and destroy any weapon caches you find. Watch for counterattacks. So, okay, let's get this done. Show a little bit of scoped gameplay because I absolutely love the way the scopes work in this game. So you can see around the edge of my scope, everything is not only visible, but not zoomed in. Really? Um, so yeah, like I was saying, it's not... Uh, it's not zoomed in, so you can still see everything. However, that does mean that your sensitivity is scaled by your magnification. So, like, I have a 9x scope on right now, which is just the, the sniper scope in this game. There's no, like, big variety. Um, so my sensitivity is scaled pretty intensely. Which, for sniping, I am fine with. I don't think I can. So, Everybody ready? Let's move out. I'm gonna roll with the shotgun on this map, just because I love the way shotguns are done in this game. And... Typically, I would not, but they, they're they done so well that I just have trouble. Like I, I could, uh, in all consciousness, do a review of this game and not show you shotguns. So as you can see, it actually has realistic distance, which is just unheard of for shotguns in video games. Apparently, ah! video game devs have never played, never uh, actually fired a shotgun before. I think behind cover still works against shotguns, though. <laughs> uh, also, this game does have some slippery slopes, though, so... Boy! It's just part of the uh, source engine, I think, bleeding through. So that, uh, that pretty much wraps up my review of Insurgency. I hope you'll uh, give it a shot.